Welcome back, Tug Addicts. Kind of jumped on me here on the time. I didn't realize it was already 7 o'clock. Kind of caught me off guard. I was looking at some comments that we've gotten. Uh, went, just got back from fishing a little while ago, and uh, I just, last minute thing, kind of caught up on the to-do list today, and I was surprised. I was really surprised. Uh, I caught, oh, I think it was 14, threw them all back, uh, but with this cold front moving in Christmas Eve, I thought they would shut down today, but they didn't. They, they worked bit well. And I threw all plastics. Uh, you remember the other day I was telling y'all about gluing the plastic to the jig head. I went out today, put a new bait on, forgot to bring my super glue or my uh, Loctite rather. And uh, boy, two or three times they pull it back off the head. And after that, they quit biting. I did have a few where when I did have it secure and they tapped it a few times without pulling off the head. I had a solid hookup. Uh, I want to go over some of the comments now. Uh, ben Barry, do you freeze your shrimp with heads on or off? I prefer the heads on because the shrimp stay fresher. Uh, yeah, Ben, I, you know, it, being in the seafood business and around it my whole life, we always got our shrimp and they were already pre-headed. And we, we used to put up anywhere between 350, 400,000 pounds of shrimp a year. We had grade machines that would grade them 1,000 pounds an hour. And then when we would go ahead and have the peeled, we had a peeling machine that would do over 4,300 shrimp an hour. And I just, you know, always had them headed and never really did much with the heads on. But you did remind me of a time I got a little messed up in high school, got a bunch of fresh shrimp in. We were going to go home. They had the heads on. And my buddies and I, we drinking and we party one thing and another. Wasn't supposed to be drinking. And we boiled up these shrimp at my mom and dad's house. And I thought I was going to be cool like they do in New Orleans with the crawfish. And I was going to suck the head juice. I got sick as hell. And now, naturally, it wasn't from the, it wasn't from the beer, I'm sure. <laughs> Boy, now, I, I, I don't want to have my shrimp with the heads on, trust me. More bacteria break down between the head joint than anything else on the shrimp. So if you got them fresh, you want to do them with the heads on, that's all well and good. But... I don't really think it's necessary. And uh, some people like to do them, you know, with the shell on. When I put up shrimp for uh, for myself in the freeze, I used to put up about 24, uh, 21, 25 count shrimp and uh, run them through the peel machine that, that uh, my nephew has and my brother has. And I peel them and vein them all away. So when my wife and I want to have them last minute, it doesn't take but minutes of thaw because when I put them up in those back bags, Back bag's only about that thick when I lay them out. So uh, it's, a, it's a quick, easy meal to get them thawed as well. I've uh, got another one here. Uh, Craig Fitzgerald, I vacuum seal when I'm not eating right away. Sometimes I will vacuum seal but freeze if I plan to eat the next couple, next two days or next day or two. Uh, I hear that rinsing the meat with salt water rather than fresh water will prevent some mushiness. Have you heard of do that? No, I haven't. Uh, Craig, I've, I've never tried to experiment with that. Uh, some people will even put salt by itself in the bag with regular water. Not, uh, and, and I'm assuming that's what you're doing. I don't think you're using salt water out of the river. Uh, let's see. I've done, I've done it, but have not marked bags to indicate as, as such. So not sure of the effectiveness. Uh, maybe I should try a test. One freshwater rinse, one saltwater rinse compare. Yeah, do and let us let us know in your comments uh, if you do notice a difference in that. Uh, the uh, the comments we had the other night about the rock fishing and, and nobody really wanted to give up where the spot was. It was always around an area. Uh, my buddy Gary Thompson sent me a pic of his nephew, Stephen, the other day bragging about the fish they caught. Well, a comment I want to make out there to you guys, if you don't want anybody to know where you're fishing, don't put your back to the drop. Thank you, Stephen. Fish to drop before. I have to get back there. You had a good catch. Uh, I got a comment here from uh, a gentleman by the name. It went as uh, R Weekly commented. 
Thanks for taking time out of your day to catch fish. Least needed comment of all times. Well, I have a plan. Somebody asked me, did I have a retirement plan? I said, yes, I do. Going fishing. And God does not take a lot of time from fishing from your allotted time on earth. So get out there and fish. Take the kid fishing too. Uh, got another comment here from, I uh, just saw that a little while ago. Eve Hammond commented, great content, fun. Uh, love, I reckon you like my friend's channel. She's an amazing at cooking and knowledge about fragrances too. Uh, give her a watch. And uh, you can get that link under her comment when you uh, go and look at uh, the comments we have on ours. Uh, don't have too much more to say other than, than the fishing today. I didn't think I would do well at all. Went out. There were actually two boats right where I wanted to fish. One of them was sitting right on top of the drop. Uh, and they were using live bait. And they were just floating down. And I just went around them and pitched, pitched, pitched. And I'm telling you, I was amazed. I was getting some very nice trout. Uh, I'm going to end this with our, our regular thing about the uh, nostalgia comments. And last night I talked about the, uh, the uh, 57 Chevy. I'm going to hold this up and see if you guys can see that picture. Brings back memories. I remember a friend of ours, Michael Ryan, had one. Uh, I'm going to end this with a, a comment of a nostalgia thing on... Do you remember when no one ever asked where the car keys were because they were always in the car in the ignition and the doors were never locked? Those were the good old days. Guys, don't forget to, uh, you know, leave your questions and your comments. I know everybody's really busy with Christmas time right now, but if you take a minute, that's what we'd like to respond to. We don't get to them that day. We'll come up and, and get back to you the next day. Uh, go to your website, please. Check out our influencer link and uh, give us a thumb up. Ring the bell. Subscribe. Keep the channel going. Don't forget, take a kid fishing and you can't catch him on the couch. And also, well, one more thing. I was really like the fact that everybody was saying Merry Christmas, not Happy Holidays. It's just like, I don't know what's the last time is what your religious beliefs are or whatever, but it's getting too uh, politically correct for me, but I want everybody to enjoy themselves. Don't be in a rush. Please don't have any accidents. I, I, one thing that gets me this time of year is you have somebody rushing, 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 and they end up getting killed. That, that's so sad. Uh, please uh, have a Merry Christmas, and we'll be back tomorrow night. Thank you, Tug Addicts. Don't forget, take a kid fishing, and you can't catch them on the couch.